older black women always want to use this black don't crack. You know, we age the best, this and that. Show me your left ring finger. Enter to win a free Conference of Masculine Excellence virtual ticket. Just go to MasculineExcellence.com slash win, plug in your very best email, and you'll have a chance to win a free virtual ticket. Limited time only. Winners notified via email. Winners announced weekly. Some reason, Minister Jap and Kevin Samuels oh. are picking on older black women. Here we go. They seem to be on a campaign to try to make us seem like we are undesirable mm -hmm. and that we have hit the wall. Here's the issue with these kind of things, guys. Um, I think everybody hit the point on, on the head. You know, one, she is obviously morbidly obese. Yes. And the reason she continues to come at successful men uh, is because, one, she's recognizing the kind of men that she would have liked and had a chance to date had she not put herself in the position she had in life. Two, Older, older black women always want to use this black don't crack. You know, we age the best. This and that. Show me your left ring finger. <laughs> Show me your left ring finger. I don't want to hear any of this other stuff. You know, Jap, you you kind of hit on a point that I I've brought out in my in, on my channel. You guys hold the record for the most engaged, longest engaged, uncommitted long-term relationships you cannot do you cannot get what it counts the wedding the marriage so um women like this instead of doing what it takes to give men what they want they're trying to scare young women which they're not hearing this anymore i'm just I'm coming to my show and you'll hear the young women i ain't trying to hear these old bras no more so the only ones left are the frightened uh, still BP men and guys who haven't quite woke up yet to think that they may end up getting clowned. But then you look at the alternative. Would you rather get clowned or would you rather have this? I'll take my chance at the fair Damn. or the circus because I don't like this right here. So go ahead. Right. Kevin, a lot of things that I'm, I'm getting from black women is that you're, you're subliminally bashing in a passive aggressive way. Yes, what do you say to that, Kevin, when, when you hear that? Uh, if the truth is bashing, then then yes, because I don't I'm not subliminal by anything. I just okay. use two plus two is four and let you feel however you feel about it. Okay. I mean, two plus two is four. Now, I don't have to. You know, I've even gotten to the point of my show to where I don't even put people up on camera unless they're trolling, because the audio speaks for itself. Right. <laughs> See, what they're trying to do is they're trying to find a way to delegitimize or invalidate their delusion. Yes. And I just have to happen to have the right blend of sales, questioning ability, psychology, probing, and patience yeah. to allow them to just talk and say, Oh my God, the truth. tell on themselves. Listen, Kevin, yeah. I got to tell you, listen, man, I got to tell you, dude. Can't nobody do it like you. I have, dude, listen, man, I've been doing this a long time. I have never seen anyone so thoroughly dissect and subsequently ether these live on the air. There's no script. There, dude, there's no, no, no. Like you pick apart every one of these. It's like you ask them questions that require them to tell on themselves. I don't well, know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't well, know. To be, to be a salesperson especially when you're a high level salesperson commission only is that the yeah. highest level of sales it's, yeah. it's the highest tightrope no net and you eat what you kill you cannot afford to waste time you cannot afford to waste time with people who really cannot buy who will waste who will and all it takes is being hungry or almost getting fired to let you realize that you have to get better at listening probing and asking direct questions that are going to lead to an outcome my 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 ultimate point is this are you coming into the conversation in good faith uh the chances yeah. are no okay but you have a chance to make me believe something else number two what do you want and what are you willing to do to get it that's it that's the secret sauce to what i do now, all the other things down the line are just kind of lead off, but it really comes down to what do you want? I don't judge these women for saying they want a, a, a husband who's making $350,000 a year, three kids and Buckhead driving a Porsche truck and all this other kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, great. And what are you going to do to get it? Uh, I mean, hmm. I think that these men like 
Minister Jap and Kevin Samuels are intimidated by the fact that black women look young for a very long time and they do not hit the wall. And <laughs> the wall. Yeah, make an opening statement. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yes, uh, please. Yes, Counselor, uh, your opening statement, please. Well, I, I just want to I need to explain what I believe finally happened. OK, uh, I, I'm not special. The the men, the manosphere dating coaches uh, have all been saying high value, high value. I mean, hypergamy. Correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but isn't it females consolidating on the highest value man available or something along those lines? That is exactly what it is. Like two. Okay. All right. So I just what I did was I took concepts that we already know and I just quantified them in a thing that if you take top men over any time period, any any history, any country where it's among men, what did the men do to separate themselves to the top? Right. Minus m minus morals, principles, religion and sex. So here's what it effectively is. High value man has done something that nothing else could do. Alpha select show your work. It is a real time progress report. Wow. Now, everybody in school understands what a progress report is. Right. Me, I was a good student. I used to, I love progress report. I would be, I would rarely do you go home and check your mama. I'm like, uh huh, yeah, I, that's the progress report. And here are the grades. Wow. My progress, but if you didn't do good or you were behind, but the first time I got some kind of jacked up grades or a slow progress report, I didn't, I wasn't so cocky. And that's what this whole high value thing has done for, for especially for women. They have to ask themselves, where are they at? And far too many of them are behind or they spent it. And this is what also with some of the issues with a lot of guys have with me, it's the real time progress report as well. Uh, Friday, I did a show where I had 12 women on the panel at one time. Oh women my called, God. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a work hard. Uh, I had them call in, call in and they stacked up. All right. And on the panel, the standout was a 24 year old single mother of a 10 year old who was rated herself an eight. And uh, one, and then I had a 22 year old who thought she was a stuff who's 190 pounds, and then a bunch of other women, and all of them wanted the same thing. And the attitudes you could it was palpable, even though they were pleasant. But you know who shut the panel down? A woman who came on from the Dominican, who uh -oh. was, she was the second wife to her husband. He married her at 22 years old, and they've been married for the last 20 years. And she point blank said, I don't understand. Uh, America, black women in America, uh, and basically exemplify the kind of attitudes and the thought process. See, here's the thing with, with black women uh, have a problem with, especially like the woman here. Even the best of black women, our culture here is so backwards. Yes. It's hard for them to look at black men as anything. I mean, at best, they look at you as possibly their equal. But something to actually to submit to or work behind or inspire to become. No, 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 no. And this is why it's so easy for them to believe this. I'll say this and I'll wrap it. Okay. I say this at all the time. Women tell men what they think they deserve by their attitude <laughs> and their appearance. Oh, God. What do you what is this woman telling the men of the world that she thinks they deserve? She would tell you she deserves. Prince Charming, because uh -oh. uh, because I mean that's what she would tell you she deserves because of all kind of things that men don't value. The reality is this: women tell men what they think they deserve by their beauty, and if a woman has allowed herself to get to be three hundred plus pounds, that's not beautiful. So she's right. telling men you don't deserve anything. If a woman has an attitude now, this is a more calm demeanor, but I've heard this woman talk really horribly. And that's a, with a real bad attitude. So it's like bad, no beauty, bad attitude. That's what you're telling men what they deserve, but yet you want Prince Charming. And see, when you think at the end of the day, when you think men are fundamentally bad people, that's where a lot of these women think. They really believe that men are not good people. Right. Uh, and, and, and what can you really do with a woman like that? So no matter, she's going to, women like this will always find a way to delude themselves, to, to try to say things are going on. I find it interesting. 
that she mentioned something that to her followers and viewers that there's a war between her ministry <laughs> job and myself. And I'm like, ma'am, you know, we're close to being that important. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, you're, 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 well, you. you're you. I mean, that's honest. You're you and Jap is him and I'm me. I mean, let's put these three things in a lineup and two, two things, one thing doesn't match. You're yeah. you and we're us. Yeah, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. I'm having a larger group of women following me. These women who have put, you know, I'm a PhD. I got a master's. I got all this. I got all that. Who, who have come to realize that, wait a minute, men don't value this. I've let my career and all these things that I want get ahead of me. Now I have precious little time. And now they're trying to rejigger uh, uh, what they can salvage. And it takes a different kind of mindset. And then you have the other side. The other side is going to be content gold, the rampant feminists that women that Myron was talking about, the ones that blame men for their positions because they went down a path of trying to be a modern woman thinking that men were going to value them for their degrees and everything. And they're, and they are really surprised. I mean, you guys got to understand women really truly believe that guys were going to value them for, for their education. They're not saying that they really believed it. And they're, they were shocked to find out that it was wrong. He said, what is this? I don't think black men make enough to provide. They also, okay. Yeah, not true. 51% of black men are single and childless. 64% are in the middle class. That is oh. plenty to provide. Okay. Blackdemographics.com, black to tax, black stats by black people for black people. Okay. They also leave the children behind frequently to raise. Again, half black men are single and childless. So okay. we're speaking about a minority of men. What you're talking about is the guys that you are choosing to make a hyperbolic statement about. And we can, and here's the thing if I can't blame black women for why. They file 80% of divorces from marriages when you are uh -oh. one in four, when one in four of you are likely to get married, but yet 80% of you walk out of marriages. You're the average weight is 187 pounds. You're the most educated, the freest, most blah, 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 but you're the least happy. You're the, and, and you have 51% of your men single and childless and in the middle class, and you still can't get a man who else, who should be blamed. Check it out. I also wanted to talk about younger women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Younger women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a younger friend who is in her early 30s. They're laughing at these older men that put them on a pedestal because they're younger mm -hmm. and they're lusting after them mm -hmm. and they want to be the boyfriends or the husbands of these younger women. These younger women do not want them. They may, they laugh and they talk about them mm -hmm. behind their back and they say, Oh my God! I'm getting all this guy's money. Oh my God! I'm taking this guy for a sucker. He can't get pick up. You know he's chasing after me, and I don't know why because he cannot satisfy me. I don't understand how men have this delusion. Stop! Go ahead. What we just witnessed <laughs> was a massive amount of psychosis and projection. Wow. Okay. What she basically did is black women are in their forties and they're near their peak, but the black men fucked up and can't get their hard. So you put black women up here who are the least married, uh, least partner group of women at an older age, living their best life. That's that Derek Jackson. You're the most lit on the dating scene. And oh. you correspondingly talked about black men down here, but see what she won't talk about is the black men that are like us and up here because right. they don't, we don't see them. See, that's what this whole high value reframing of the conversation. That's why these women are so pissed because of the high ground now. And it's all, you know, they're talking about these, these young girls, they can't get up. And I'm like, sis, you don't know any hot young women. First off, you know a mid 30 year old jacked up women. We are dealing with fucking kicking it with hot young women and they are, they are happy with us and they're looking at you and say, I don't want to be bitter, old and alone on a smartphone talking about imaginary black men like Mr. 
fucking snuffleupagus. <laughs> this is what the problem is, man. So this is what feeds that abject delusion. And I'm, I'm going to say this and I'm in. And this delusion is what has been feeding other delusion. And now we're actually just coming in with light and Lysol and clearing it up. And they can't stand it because there's fewer and fewer places for them to hide. 